Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. And I'm Dennis Owens. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, 35 years later, investigators in Perry County say they finally have solved a cold case. Yeah, the DA and state police announced charges in the 1987 death of Carl Jarvis. Sonica Barco joins us with that tonight. Sonica. Alicia, Dennis, Perry County District Attorney Lauren Eichelberger says new technology, including DNA analysis, is how law enforcement were finally able to make this arrest. We are here to announce the arrest of Judith Ann Jarvis. Pennsylvania State Police and the Perry County District Attorney's Office announced an arrest Tuesday in a 35-year-old case, the death of Carl Jarvis. It is through collaboration and a parallel mission of seeking justice that we were able to bring about the arrest. According to the criminal complaints, on August 10, 1987, troopers responded to a domestic dispute on Cherry Valley Road. Judith Jarvis had called police and told them she and husband Carl had argued. She told police Carl was breaking things and she was scared. Troopers met Judith outside the house. She told them she hadn't been inside since her call. Police say when they entered, they found Carl dead on the bedroom floor and a gun lying on the bed. An autopsy found Carl had died from a shot to the back of his head, could not have shot himself, and police say Carl and Judith were the only people home at the time. Police also say they found blood on Judith's pajamas, which she said was hers. But more than 30 years later, in October 2020, state police sent the PJs back to the lab along with a sample of Carl's hair, and they found the blood was Carl's. This new technology led to our ability to bring charges in this 35-year-old case. In January 2021, police interviewed Judith. She insisted the blood wasn't Carl's and that she did not shoot him, not even in self-defense. But police had another expert review the autopsy and they ruled his death a homicide. Police arrested Judith on December 13th. DA Lauren Eichelberger says this couldn't have happened without technology like DNA analysis. It gives me courage that we will continue to find answers in cases like this, particularly with the use of more advanced technology. Judith, Judith Jarvis is currently in Cumberland County Prison. She was denied bail on murder charges. The Perry County DA confirmed this is a death penalty case. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Sonica, thanks very much.